Hey guys, welcome back and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video, I have a bunch of new Australian drugstore makeup to play with. I have been collecting these products up for a while so I could do a full face. Some of it I purchased myself and some of it was sent to me. I have a lot of exciting products here to play with. The Maybelline Superstay Concealer, I've got the e.l.f. Jelly Highlighter, and I'm excited to dip into these designer brands blushes as well. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe. All right, let's bring it in, shall we? For my base, I have a few color correcting products here from Inoxa. So this is the color correcting concealer and it's in a green shade. So this neutralizes redness. And as you can see, I do have a few breakouts at the moment. So Oh, it's coming out again. Okay. I'm just going to put a light amount of this on those really red areas. So far, I like the fact that it's a very pastel green. Pastel? <sighs> that usually works really well if you've got fairer skin because it's going to neutralize the redness, but it's not going to leave these really bright green marks. If you find the green concealer you're using is very pigmented, just go over the top of it with a skin colored concealer before you put your foundation on. All right, well, it has neutralized the redness in those areas and I definitely think my foundation will be able to cover up the difference in the shade. So, good so far. Next, I have the Dark Circle Concealer in the shade Porcelain. And this, I believe, is an under eye color corrector because it does have that little bit of a peachy tone to it. So I'm just going to put a bit of this under my eyes and blend it out with my beauty blender. Now, I feel like I say this all the time, but I don't have super dark circles under my eyes, but color correcting them, I find helps to get the most out of my normal concealer when I put that under my eyes. That way I'm not piling it up and piling it up to get coverage because a color corrector has gotten rid of the darkness for me. Okay, that's done a pretty good job. Time to dip into foundation and I'm really excited for this. It's the Essence Insta Perfect Liquid Makeup, it's called. Strong Matte Effect Waterproof Buildable Coverage and it's in the shade 10. I'm going to pop this. Ooh, that color is good. Okay, I'm going to put this on with my brush and then I'll try blending it out with a Kabuki style brush first because that usually gives me the most coverage. Right, as you can see, it doesn't have a super full coverage because these breakouts are still showing. It's actually really lightweight on the skin. It does have a bit of a fragrance though. Mm, the fragrance is actually starting to be quite strong. It's very, very floral. Okay, so applying it with the brush has left a few streak marks. So I'm going to go in with a second layer and I'll blend this out with my sponge. Okay, so I'm not loving the coverage. I definitely think I need a little bit more. It says it has a strong matte finish, but I think I look quite glowy, so I would definitely say more of a satin matte. I'm going to go in with a little bit more and see how it builds up because mm, <laughs> it's just not my style, you know? Okay, so it has built up a little bit, but I would definitely say it's medium coverage. That's it. Okay, so let's go in with concealer. I'm using the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer in the shade 05 Ivory. Now, I am a huge fan of the Superstay foundation, so I actually have really high hopes for this. The shade 05 Ivory I do use in the Fit Me Concealer, so again, high hopes for this. 
Okay, so that has quite a nice finish. My under eyes do look super fresh and hydrated. The coverage, I would say, is not crazy full. It's not like the L'Oreal Infallible, but it's done a good job when you compare my under eyes. Okay, that looks really, really nice. I'm going to take a little bit just on my chin here, build up that coverage, and I'm gonna put a little bit on these breakouts to see how it goes there. Okay, I like that. Now to powder my face, I've got the Makeup Revolution Translucent Loose Setting Powder. All right, I'm just going to use my sponge and dip into the powder like so and set under the eyes. Now on the back here, it does say it's talc free, no flashback and water resistant. Okay. Oh my God, I'm not a fan of this damn package. Oh my God, I just spilt it everywhere. <laughs> I oh know it's picking up on my nose. No, 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 no. So that has left my under eyes looking quite smooth, but it is picking up the foundation on my nose. I might go in with a brush instead. Okay, this is just going everywhere. Oh my God. Okay, well, I'm not loving the powder. I feel like it's really just made my face look super, super white. And it just looks patchy. Okay, I'm gonna put some eyebrows on next because I'm feeling gross. So here I have the Maybelline Ultra Slim Brow Pencil, and this is in the shade 255 Soft Brown. So this one says it has a 1.5 millimeter micro tip for precise hair-like strokes and a soft stooly for blending. I do love a mini little eyebrow pencil like this. Ooh, yes, look at that. So similar to the Anastasia Brow Wiz or the NYX Micro Brow, Let's start by brushing these up. Now, I'm not sure how this color is gonna go because it was sent to me. Usually I would go for a more blonde shade. It's actually quite a um, short pencil. Oh, that color's dark. Okay, let's brush it out, let's brush it out. Everyone relax. Oh my God, okay, I went a little bit lighter on this side and that looks much better. Still bold, but I don't know, I just, I just went in on this side. Wow. Okay, let's just ignore this and go in with a brow gel. I'm using the Rimmel Wonderful Brow 24 Hour Waterproof Brow Mascara. And this is in the shade Blonde. No, it's not. It's in the shade 001 Light. Close enough. Now, I haven't been a huge fan of Rimmel's brow mascaras in the past because they have a really big wand on them and the actual formula is just really goopy and gluggy and it's just a mess. So when I saw this one that has a much tinier wand, I thought I would give it another go. So let's see. There's still a lot of product on the little wand, but that's much, much easier to use. Wow, they are some bold eyebrows. Oh my God. Okay, I need to go in and clean these up. So I'm going to be using the Maybelline Concealer and just a little concealer brush. So I'm going to use this as my eyeshadow base and I'll clean up underneath my brows. 
I thought putting brows on would help me to not look as scary, but I think it just made it worse. <laughs> Now, I don't have a new bronzer, so I'm just quickly going to go in with the Designer Brands and Get Glowing Bronzer. What the heck? Okay, this bronzer does not usually apply like that. <gasps> Ew! <laughs> it's so patchy! I didn't know what to do. <laughs> Gross. Oh my god. 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 I wear this bronzer all the time, and this is the bronzer brush I use all the time as well. The Zoeva 126 Luxe Cheek Finish, and it never applies like this. Okay, it's like starting to pick up the foundation now, too, because I'm blending so much. It's the powder. Like, it's definitely the powder because. What I'm going to do is get a pressed powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. And I'm just going to use my sponge and go over that patch that's coming off. And I'm also going to use it to kind of tidy up the bronzer a bit, hopefully. Anyway, moving on to blush. I have the Designer Brands Make and Blush Pressed Mineral Blushes. I have two shades, Peach Glow and Rose Glow. I like that they've actually made the packaging thinner. So this is the same packaging as the bronzer, but see how much thicker the bronzer is? Much more sleek, I like it. So this one is Rose Glow and this one is Peach Glow. They actually have a really nice sheen to them. They do look a little bit glittery in the pan, but on my hand there, they just give a really nice glow. Ooh, I think I might go in with Rose Glow. If you have textured cheeks, a shimmery blush probably isn't the best idea for you because it is going to highlight that texture. So just keep that in mind. When I have a lot of breakouts, I tend to use more of a matte blush for that reason. And with blush, I always start with just a little and build it up. Okay, for highlighter, I have the e.l.f. Jelly Highlighter, and this is in the shade Bubbly. Now, this says it's a smooth, jelly textured highlighter that blends into the skin for a luminous, glowing skin effect. Okay, now the texture of this is something else. Hopefully, I don't spill it everywhere. Like... <laughs> so, I'm... Okay, how do I apply this? Let me put a little bit on my finger and... <laughs> Oh my god. You can't see it wobbling as much because I'm too scared to spill it, but holy moly, that is pigmented. So what I might do is just put a little bit on the back of my hand and kind of blend it out. Oh, that is metallic. Wow, okay. And then I'm going to take the bum of my beauty blender, kind of squeeze it, just dip it in so that I've got a little bit on the bottom there and then dab it on my cheekbones. <laughs> Wish me luck. Just very lightly, very lightly because I don't want it to lift up my makeup. Okay. All right, it did dry down on my hand completely so I've just put a little bit more on for the other side. That is like next level. Wow. It's definitely not a natural looking highlighter, so keep that in mind. Wow, okay. The color is really nice for my fair skin though. Okay, that's cool. Oh my God, this would last you a lifetime. Okay, now I did get a new setting spray. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Magic Setting Spray and it's a long lasting all day matte finish. So I'm just going to spray some of this and hopefully it can like help with um, oh, what's going on because my, my skin doesn't look good. <laughs> oh, that's got a nice mister. I feel like it is coming out on like a bit of a down angle though. So you've got to, mmm, mmm, doesn't smell. 
Okay, let's move on to the eyes, shall we? I have three palettes here by BYS, and these are just their eight-piece shadow palettes. I think I'm going to do something quite neutral because I do have some pretty loud colored lipsticks. So I might dip into this palette here called Bear All. Okay, I'm gonna be super boring and take this neutral brown shade Put it all through the crease and then put a shimmer on the lid. Crazy, crazy, I know. But look, I just want to see how these perform. The BYS palettes in the tins are really good. So hopefully this has the same quality. Okay, that color is building up and blending out well. All right, I'm then going to take a smaller brush and put this under the lower lash line and I'm really going to smoke it out because I am creasy. And I think it's because of that powder, not setting everything properly. Which is a real bummer because it actually looks quite smooth, but right under my lashes, Oh no, sweetie. No, 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 no. I actually do this all the time. So I already have quite creasy under eyes. And when I use a product combination that isn't the best, this little trick, it works well. Okay, I'm going to use my finger and apply this deeper brown here. Ooh, okay. Wow, that's actually really nice. And then I'm going to use my other finger with the more champagne shade and put that on the inner corner. Oh, wow. This is a really smooth and a creamy feeling shadow. I am impressed. Usually cheaper shimmers, they feel so dry. It's disgusting. I kind of want to dip into this glitter shade as well. Yeah, a lot of the BYS glitters um, are like a gel, but that looks quite nice. So let me just tap. Oh yeah, look at that sparkle. That's what I'm talking about. And then for mascara, I've got the Inoxa Lash Enhancing Mascara 3-in-1. So this curls, defines, and promotes lash growth. Now, it does have a pretty standard mascara wand. I have the shade black here, but it also comes in brown, black brown, and they even sent me a blue. You know, if you're feeling a little crazy. I like that, my lashes look good, okay. For lipstick, I've got some here by Designer Brands. So this lip liner is the Pigment Pout Longwear Lip Liner, and it's in the shade. This shade. <laughs> and then the lipstick is 465 Antique Rose, and these are the new moisturizing lipsticks. Oh, that is creamy. Oh, that's a nice shade. Not something I usually go for. You all know I love my nudes. <laughs> With darker lipsticks, I'm not very good at getting a nice sharp line. So what I like to do is get a little flat concealer brush, something like this, dip it into the lipstick, and then go around the edges and make sure it's nice and clean. Okay, so let's do a quick run through on some overall thoughts. The color correctors, I liked them. I'll definitely try them again. The foundation, I don't know, it just wasn't enough coverage for me. I will probably try it again, but use a powder that I love, like the Models Prefer Mineral Finishing Veil, because that will give me a true indication on whether or not it's the foundation or it's something else. The color match was really nice, though. It had that more of a neutral, almost beigey undertone. It definitely wasn't cool as the color suggests. Like, there was no pink in it whatsoever, but I really liked it. The shade, that is. 
Um, the Maybelline Concealer, loved. It wasn't a super, super full coverage, but it was enough and it left a really beautiful, hydrating look under the eyes. The powder, I think that would have had to been the breaker for this whole makeup look, seriously. It says translucent, but it was like white. It was not blending into the skin as a translucent powder. The packaging was messy AF. I have powder all over me and how it opens is this little tab here pops up, but you can also screw that off. So I felt like once the powder's in this little area, like it's just falling out. Like there's powder everywhere. Just no, 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 no. No, not a fan. So I think the powder not setting my foundation in place properly did affect the way other products blended on top. The blush though, I do think it's really beautiful and I'm excited to use it again with a different base. As I mentioned, it is a glowy finish. So whether or not you like that, that's up to you. The colors are beautiful and I love the sheen that it gives. The highlighter, oh my God. Okay, definitely excited to dip into that again. It was so metallic and applying it with the Beauty Blender worked really well. It didn't lift up my foundation at all, which is a worry with more liquid highlighters. The brow products, okay. Besides the fact that the color is probably a bit too dark for me, I really enjoyed the formula. If you've ever used the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, the difference would be the NYX is a little bit more dry Whereas this one is more creamy, so it glides on really easily, which is why I think I went a little bit overboard. I love the small, precise tip, really easy to draw on the brows where you want them, and if you're sparse like me, that's definitely a good thing. The brow gel, oh my god, feeling my brows now, they are actually set in place. They ain't going anywhere. So I really like that, and I like the fact that it's got a smaller, little wand on it. Next is the eyeshadow palettes. Okay, so these are definitely more on the affordable side. They did a good job for their price. I feel like the matte shade built up and blended out nicely. It had a good amount of pigment as well. Same with the shimmers. They were super creamy and I was really surprised with how they applied. I think these palettes would be good for someone who just dabbles in eyeshadow every now and then. The mascara, I really enjoyed it. My lashes look nice and long and luscious. We'll definitely be using that again. And the lipstick and liner, again, really enjoyed it. It's feeling super comfortable on the pigment. Like, look at this color. <laughs> All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And as I said, if you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe. You can also come follow me over on Instagram. I will have that linked down below. I do have a few other Australian drugstore videos as well. So I'll also leave those linked down below. Otherwise, I hope you're having a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.